going on guys it is Jiggo back again with another video today we have a pretty important topic about GTA Online on the console version specifically the PS4 as well as the PS5 version the PS5 version is still technically the PS4 version I'm not talking about enhanced edition yet you know just the PS4 version but obviously playable on the PS5 but if you guys do end up enjoying or learn something new from this uh, or you want to give your input drop a comment down below drop a like drop a subscribe all of that if you want to check me out I do have a second channel where I do post funny variety content so yeah if you want to check that out as well go ahead down below in the description and go check it out uh, don't feel pressure to subscribe though you know it's just only if you enjoy it but anyways let's get right into the video so we are almost less than two months away from the expanded enhanced edition one of the <laughs> worst things that could possibly happen is if a bunch of cheaters right before the game's launch are able to begin cheating i should say now this isn't mod menus or anything on ps4 or ps5 you know for, from now on i'm just going to call it the playstation 4 version okay i don't want to confuse anyone thinking it's an enhanced edition or anything so in the ps4 edition recently this program began to work to give people a bunch of money the program people have been using recently is called save wizard and it originated back in i believe 2019 with the NBA 2K games that are also made by Take-Two Interactive, or published by Take-Two Interactive. This program, Save Wizard, is mostly a single player sort of mod or cheat that you can use on PS4 games. All you have to do is buy a Save Wizard account for either $50 to use one profile or $60 to use two profiles. And with this, you can mod your single player games, which is which is nice, you know, if people want the option to mod their single player games and, you know, go ahead, they should be able to do so. If they don't have PCs, then that's kind of their fault. But anyways, now one problem with this save wizard thing is that it works on some online games. NBA 2K, for example, the online competitive game modes, as well as Grand Theft Auto. Now, well, all you have to do with Save Wizard, you buy the program, and then you just put it on a USB, and then you put it in your PS4, I believe. Uh, I'm like 99% sure on this. And then, what it really does is it gives you a modded single-player save. Now, with this modded single-player save, you can do, literally, it's this random list of tasks that you have to do to f be able to freeze your money in GTA Online. Then what you can do, buy an office garage, have 60 slots, and then you just buy 60 deluxos, which... 2.8 million so you're getting roughly 3 million a deluxo times 60 that's 180 million dollars getting around 150 million but 60 deluxos that's around 150 million dollars you can do a lot with that money like a lot you can buy every business in the game roughly as well as some nice cars you could definitely treat yourself with 150 million dollars now this save wizard thing works on both a brand new PlayStation account as well as an old one. It doesn't matter where your GTA Online stats are currently at for this to work. All you need to do is just buy save wizard and just do the little program thing. And as of right now, Rockstar, I don't think has a solution for this. How the hell are they gonna detect this little USB going into your PlayStation, doing a little modded single player save, etc. Now the modded single player save isn't like some crazy mod menu things. It's literally just specifically to freeze your money. There's really nothing new or different about the save. I mean, I guess if you're in a brand new account and you have $150 million worth of deluxos or something, yeah, you could obviously see that, oh, they only have two hours played. Oh, and they have $150 million. Oh well, yeah, let's ban them. They definitely did some cheating. But with these accounts that have been around for years, I don't think Rockstar can really detect it. I've had two friends that I've been in contact with over Discord, and both of them have had the Save Wizard money account whatever for weeks now. And I believe you can just go over and over and over again with the freeze money after it's on one profile. Yeah, so it's been weeks, and some people have been doing the Save Wizard stuff for even months. It hasn't been around very long, but it has been around. And nobody has really gotten banned from the Save Wizard stuff, which is a problem on Rockstar's point, because obviously, in almost less than two months away, we're going to be getting Expanded and Enhanced Edition, which will release on the PS5, Xbox X, etc., etc., and if people make these new profiles and, you know, make these saves with over hundreds of millions of dollars on it, then they can just transfer that to their PS5 or Xbox Series X accounts and never have to worry about exactly making money ever again, which could lose profits for Rockstar. 
Now, I'm, I, you know, if nothing were to happen to the Save Wizard accounts, I really wouldn't mind. I like earning my money legit. You know, they're not affecting anyone else. It's not like mod menus where they control people or anything like that. But, you know, it's bad for Rockstar at a business standpoint. You can get $150 million, $160 million for $50, which is incredibly more than $8 million for $100. And if you spend an extra 10 bucks, you can get two profiles. You and a buddy could split that for only $30 a piece and just have both, each of you could have 150 to $160 million, which is a lot. And it could be on a brand new account or an existing account, like I said. Account selling for PlayStation GT Online has also skyrocketed because people buy Save Wizard, make two accounts, sell them for 100 each, and make a huge profit. So that's also a problem. I know Rockstar has made a very good effort to get rid of modders and mod menus, at least here on PC. I actually haven't run into a modder in a minute. Well, there's probably some in here, but they haven't been messing around with me, at least specifically, in a while. What Rockstar could do, I guess, is just simply send a cease and desist order to Save Wizard, even though they do like a thousand, twelve hundred other games in Grand Theft Auto. Maybe they just send them a cease and desist order. Hey, you know, quit messing with my, uh, my baby, my cow, my money cow. And they'll say, okay, yep, we're done. Because obviously, if you're anyone, if you're not a multi-billion dollar company, you're going to listen to Rockstar. You will get on your hands and knees and do whatever they ask. Because <laughs> you don't want to go to court or anything with a multi-billion dollar company. They got lawyers, obviously, and they will bust your balls. So I think the simple solution for Rockstar is to simply just send them a cease and desist order and just have them fuck off, honestly. But yeah, that's really all I wanted to talk about today. And of course, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments, what you guys think about the Save Wizard stuff. It only works on PlayStation. I don't know if I mentioned that at the beginning of the video, but maybe Xbox will be getting some sort of program or some sort of wizardy save thing uh, for their console too. I wouldn't be surprised if people were already working on it. I know PlayStation is much more popular than Xbox nowadays, but that still doesn't mean that there's people on Xbox who want to do so because you know I understand GT GT online can be pretty tedious and getting all that money and stuff can be a grind but yeah like I said let me know down in the comments what you guys think please remember to drop a like and subscribe if you guys are new and if you guys want to check out that second channel the variety content channel go uh go in the description and check it out and like I said before don't feel pressured to subscribe to that second channel only if you enjoy it and you're interested thanks again guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one peace Put my balls in your jaws